leading the parade for the race he made his own for so long. And the parade led by the sporting uh, Czech challenge, Freys, who's got 250 supporters here from Ladies Czechoslovakia this afternoon. His 59-year-old trainer is Václav Šebesta, and uh, his rider is 42-year-old Václav Halopka, winner of 10 of her 12 races, the mayor Freys. And uh, she's being followed by Bonanza Boy. You can see Red Rum very full of himself as he leads this parade, acknowledging the cheers of the crowd. Looks really perky, doesn't he? Brilliantly well. What a credit to Ginger McCain he is. And there, Freys, and there's uh, protective bandages, followed by Bonanza Boy and Peter Skudemore. Peter riding in his 11th national and uh, so dearly hoping to emulate his father who won it 32 years ago on Oxo. And Peter himself 32 years of age and he's being followed by Marcus Armitage in those quartered colours of Mrs. Harry Duffy, Lois Duffy on the 1990 winner Mr. Frisk, 26-year-old uh, Marcus Armitage, riding in his third national and followed by Yahoo and Norman Williamson, winner of 10 of his 38 races, uh, Yahoo, second ride for Norman Williamson. Behind him is 10 of spades and uh, John White, seventh ride for him, 31 years old. Garrison Savannah, the Gold Cup winner, Blinkered, written by Mark Pittman, his third national this being followed by Dunham Edition and Chris Grant, 34 years old, riding his 11th national, followed by Renus and Neil Dowdy, his 8th national, won it in 1984. And uh, he's followed by Oklahoma, first ride for Roland Klaparski in the national, 45 years old, the representative of France, 11 is Seagram, written by Nigel Hawke, 25 years old, first ride in the race, then Master Bob, Jamie Osborne, having his second ride. 13 is Big Son, written by Richard, Dun Richard Dunwoody. There he is. 27 years old, Richard, followed by Solid as a Rock, Graham Bradley. And Docklands Express, and Anthony, Anthony Torrey, riding his uh, first national, being followed by Huntworth, Alan Walter, his second ride, he's putting up six pound overweight, 17 is Kramer, Michael Durkin, uh, John Durkin I should say, 18 is Auntie Dot, Mark Dwyer putting up four pound overweight, 19 Southern Air, Jose Simo, that's Old Applejack, behind Old Applejack is New Halen, they're turning now, hoping to make up of course uh, some, of, some of the last time. Behind New Halen is Run and Skip and Derek Byrne riding his first national. Then comes uh, Ballyhane and Declan Murphy having his second ride in the race. He's putting up three pound overweight incidentally. He's followed by Mick Starr. Behind Mick Starr is Foyle Fisherman, ridden by Eamon Murphy. Behind him General Chandos, the oldest rider in the race, John Bradburn, 45. Behind him is the Langham Dar, Graham McCourt, stable companion of Renus. Then over the road and Robbie Supple. Behind him is Team Challenge. I can just spot his blinkers there. That's Team Challenge and uh, Ben DeHaan who won it in 83. Carrying the first colours of Mrs. Hitchens. And Joint Sovereignty of the Sheepskin Nose Band. Bumble's Folly behind him. And Harley behind Bumble's Folly. Those orange colours. Then Mr. Christian and Simon Earl. Simon having his first ride in the race too, and there's Hot Plate, Hot Plate and Peter Niven. Hot Plate judged the best turned out horse from the Red Rum stable. And so 200 pounds for his lad. That's Golden Minstrel. This is Blue Dart. 
two pound overweight for Huel Davis. Abba Lad, another of the, the last of the quartet, Jenny Pittman quartet. That's Forest Ranger and David Take having his second ride in the race, 24 years old, David. And Lagorn and Mark Richards, his fourth ride, 31 years old. And Red Rum having fulfilled his duty. Will shortly be led off the circuit. Meanwhile, many of them going to have a look at the first fence. And there's Jose Simo, the Spanish rider on Southern Air. 25 is mixed star. End of a pack token just towards the left there. The hoop sleeves, Langham Dar. The far side, Bally Hayne. The check cap, foil fisherman. Crammer with a sheepskin noseband. The white face to the left is solid as a rock. Docklands Express to the right. Huntworth, the uh, blue colours with the dark sleeves. And Alan Walter, who's been starving to ride at his absolute minimum. There, the camera inside the first fence appraising the legs there of General Chandos. Let's run and skip with the cross belts coming up to have a look at it. That's Mr. Christian, the left, Bumble's Folly. Lagorn, who comes up to look at it, body's number, number 40. Bonanza boy and Peter Scudamore and the lads all rushing back now after leading their charges up to the end of the parade uh, to get a view of their cherished horses. Tackling these 30 fences and here's how they're betting on the outcome at the moment. With uh, 13 to 2, the price for Bonanza Boy, the uh, favourite. Uh, Garrison Savannah, 15 to 2, so is Renus, or Rhinus. A uh, 10 to 1, Big Sun. A uh, Seagram, 14 to 1. Tennis Spade, 16s. Master Bob is on 20 to 1. On 22 to 1, uh, Ballyhane and Docklands Express. And it's 25 to 1 bar. The persistent rain promoting Bonanza Boy, mud loving little Bonanza Boy to the head of the market. Despite the favorable handicapping of this horse, the Gold Cup winner, Garrison Savannah. And Keith Brown will shortly be asking him to get in order. That's Auntie Dot, Mark Dwyer, New Halen, the far side, team challenge in the blinkers, Docklands Express, you can just spot the background there, number 15, stable companion of Mr. Frisk, therefore trained by Kim Bailey, first ride in the race for 24-year-old Anthony Torrey, winner of his 11 of his 30 races, which reminds me that these 30 runners in the 1991 National have won no less than 364 races between them. Remus, number nine. And that remarkable Grand National Specialist, Neil Doughty, 33 years old, having his eighth ride. Phrase. The Czechoslovak Hope, winner of 10 of her 12 races. Her sporting connections have been handing out uh, tie pins uh, to celebrate their visit to Aintree today when they hope to see the mayor undaunted by fences which are possibly uh, less arduous than the Czech 
Czechoslovak national, the Padovici, in which uh, she's been runner-up. Very much on her toes. Further betting show, 7-1 to one now, Bonanza Boy, gone out half a point, sharing uh, market lead with Garrison Savannah, 7.5 Renus, 9-1 to one Big Sun, and 14-1 to one bar that quartet. And still milling in this icy wind, Seagram on the near side here. And the police just uh, removing a few spectators who are in front of the one strand uh, tape. Uh, Keith Brown in the uh, bowler hat there with uh, Jerry Scott just uh, waiting for the course to be cleared. As the 30 runners mill around, they'll be anxious to get underway as soon as they can. Yeah, they're getting very cold out there, the riders. There's Mr. Frisk in the foreground. I wonder where Marcus will jump him off. Just walking right there. Of course, this weather's come against him. He'll be desperately disappointed that uh, the forecasters were correct today. There's Bonanza who will be happy with it. Big Sun on his left. Bonanza boy, winner of 14 of his 34 races. A 13 to 2 chance now, clipped again half a point, just shading Garrison Savannah as favourite. Peter Scudamore adjusts his goggles. The course appears to be clear. There's Mr. Frisk. And soon they'll be lining up now and on their way across the Melling Road and down to Beaches. And they're being called in. Keith Brown calls them in. General Chandis turns just a little bit behind the others. Old Applejack turns. Forest Ranger has to turn. There are one or two out of line. Lining right up on the inside is Golden Minstrel with Oklahoma. And Team Challenge and in for Pack Token. Over on the far side is over the road with Crammer and Abelad and Lagorn and Hot Plate. Several riders are peeling because uh, they're really crowded on the inside and they can't get in and Ballyhane is being turned by Declan Murphy several of them coming back now and they're told to all told to turn come back and to come in uh, less tight on the inner Keith Brown asking him to come in very steadily Big Sun is out of line. It's looking ragged at the moment. And still, still one or two on the course. Keith Brown still wait, waiting now to be assured that the, the course is clear. Mr. Christian, that circle is back. And the slight problem area is uh, just about 150 yards after the intended dispatch end. We're looking at the scene now from uh, the first fence. As Keith Brown waits patiently, there's old Applejack. It's over the road. The 
the rider is still milling patiently. Keith Brown going across now once again by the look of it. John Parrott, the clerk of the course with him. Once again, they're being called in. Keith Brown just uh, stopped before he got to his rostrum there, but going back up onto it quickly by the look of it. You'll want to get him off now if he can. They're in a very good line. He won't get a much better line than this. He's poised, Bumble's Folly the only one, but coming in now, right, this looks like on. it, right he calls, and they're away. And they're away to a pretty good break, solid as a rock, broke just a little bit slowly, but up front in the early stages is Oklahoma for France. Oklahoma, Mr. Christian, Golden Freeze, Garrison Savannah on the inside, Ballyhane over on the far side, but Oklahoma is the leader from Golden Freeze. Then on the outside is Mr. Christian and Ballyhane as we joined them at the first fence with John Anmar. Oklahoma right on the inside, they're spread right across the course, over the road on the outside with Docklands Express, and Docklands Express is down. He was just about disputing the lead when he went. And I can't see any other fallers as they come to the next. Lagorn's up with them, Bally Haynes up with them, and also Golden Freeze is there. And we've lost one at the second, which is run and skip. And coming to the third fence, it's Golden Freeze right near us on the inside with Oklahoma. And then up there is Ten of Spades and Lagorn and over the road. And I can't see any fallers at that big ditch. And as they go to the fourth, Golden Freeze disputing the lead with Blue Dart, Ballyhane and Lagorn and over to Julian Wilson. Golden Freeze, Oklahoma on the inside, Blue Dart towards the centre of the course. They all jumped that one. Ember Pack token jumped it in last place. In fact, he's tailed off. Mr. Frisk has got a good prominent position in the centre of the course, as has over the road, as they jumped the fifth. And over that, it was Ligorn over the road. And they've all jumped that uh, right at the back of the field is Mick Star. And the leader's now running down to Beaches Brook. And they're very well. They're very close together as over the road leads from Mr. Frisk and Ligorn and Golden Trees on the inside. And the lead is all over Beaches. Ten of Spades made a mistake and every horse has jumped Beaches Brook. Mick Star made a mistake at the back of the field and as they come to the seventh, it's Golden Freeze who leads from over the road in Oklahoma on the inside. Garrison Savannah's in fourth and the outside is Mr. Frisk. Behind those is Renus and Southern Air is a faller and he's interfered very badly with Bumble's Folly at the back but the leaders go under the canal turn with Golden Freeze making it. Oklahoma on the inside, then over the road. Jumping up in the inside there is Arenas into second place, Garrison Savannah's in fifth, then Mr. Mr. Frisk on the outside is General Shandos. Close there on the inside, jumping out is Team Challenge, who jumped up really well, but it's Golden Freeze, who leads from Renus and Oklahoma and Garrison Savannah and Mr. Frisk and Team Challenge as we join John Hammer. And Golden Freeze leads at the 10th from Mr. Frisk on the outside, Renus right there on the inner. A mistake by Garrison Savannah, but he's not far behind. Nor is General Shandos and over the road, and they all jump that one well. And as they go to the big ditch, fence number 11, it's Golden Freeze and General Shandos. Then in third place, Renus with Mr. Frist, then over the road, Oklahoma and Garrison Savannah. And going to fence number 12 now. And Golden Freeze and General Shandos took it together from Renus third, Mr. Frist four. Then over the road, then comes New Halen, Oklahoma. And then Lagorn and Garrison Savannah and Blue Dart and Bally Hain and Team Challenge, then Bigson. And looking further back, Bonanza Boy hasn't got many behind him, but right at the back of the field, 
We've got Fraze who's tailed off and not far in front of Fraze, Abba Lad, and over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, it's still Golden Freeze, the leader from Renus in second. Then on the outside, General Chandos giving 45 year old John Bradman a terrific ride at the moment. Last year's winners in fourth, Mr. Frisk. Then Oklahoma over on the far side, also giving a great account of himself for France as they come down towards the next. The 13th fence in the national. Golden Freeze, General Chandos, and Renus. These are the three leaders over that one. Racing now to the 14th, and still Golden Freeze. Renus going very well within himself. Then General Chandos over the road. Mr. Frisk, Ballyhane well there on the far side. Oklahoma right up with them, and so's Team Challenge and Garrison Savannah just in behind the lead. And this is the daunting chair that they're approaching now. And it's Golden Freeze and Team Challenge, two stable companions from Renus, a very close third. Then comes General Chandos. And over that one, it was Team Challenge and Golden Freeze who jumped it together. And a faller there is Kramer. Kramer has gone, but coming to the water, it's Golden Freeze, the leader from Team Challenge. In third place is Oklahoma. Renus four on the inside. Garrison Savannah five. Then General Chandos. Then Bally Hayne and over the road. And behind them, Dunham Edition and New Halen. And then looking further back, it's Golden Minstrel and racing now across the Melling Road for the second time. It's Golden Freeze, the leader from Team Challenges Stable Companion. Renus going well on the outside. Oklahoma well up there with them and Garrison Savannah and Ballyhane and General Chandos on the outside and then New Halen and over to John Hanmer. And Golden Freeze still the leader from Team Challenge, then Renus, General, General Chandos. Then comes New Halen over the road and Garrison Savannah at fence number 17 and the leaders over it safely with Golden Freeze, then Renus, Team Challenge, then Oklahoma right there, New Halen's there, and Ballyhane and Auntie Dot, Abelad's been pulled up, and Team Challenge a mistake at the 18th, but there are plenty standing as they come to the 19th, an open ditch, and it's Golden Freeze from Renus, then New Halen, Garrison, Savannah, Oklahoma, Seagram's got right into it. And a faller there was Team Challenge, and they're going now to fence number 20. The back markers jumping it, mixed out over last, and as they jump the next fence, Renus is down as we join Julian Wilson. Yes, Renus is on the floor, ploughed through that fence, and that's the only faller there, and that leaves Golden Freeze in the lead from Garrison to Savannah, going really well in the inside. Seagram's much closer now. On the outside, moving up much closer is New Halen. But as they race down towards Beaches, it's Golden Freeze, now challenged by Garrison Savannah, New Halen, and right up on the outside is over the road, then Seagram and Auntie Dot, and Foil Fisherman as they come to Beaches for the second time. Golden Freeze over, a bad mistake by New Halen, but all the lead is over. Big Sun has been badly interfered with by a loose horse. The one faller there is Blue Dot. Blue Dot, as the lead has come to the 23rd fence, and Mr. Frisk's been pulled up as the back at, at the back as the Gold Cup winner Garrison Savannah goes into the lead or goes to dispute it. Hot plate has been pulled up at the back and New Halen is also a faller, but at the canal turn it's Garrison Savannah who jumps into the lead from Auntie Dot and on the outside the long time leader, Golden Gold. Golden Freeze, but over that, Garrison Savannah, Auntie Dodd. Oklahoma's been pulled up at the back, but Garrison Savannah leads from Golden Freeze and Seagram, then Auntie Dodd, behind Auntie Dodd, is over the road. Big Sun has been pulled up at the back as the leaders jump Valentine's, and we rejoin John Hammer. And they've got four to jump, and it's Garrison Savannah and Golden Freeze from Seagram, Auntie Dodd and they're very closely bunched this group and on the outside over the road and Garrison Savannah led over that. Garrison Savannah with Auntie Dot second, Seagram third, over the road four, Golden Freeze five, Durham Edition still going well is six, then Foil Fisherman seven, Old Applejack eight, Golden Minstrel nine, Lagorn is tenth and then behind Lagorn is Bonanza Boy and Bally Hayne but they've got two to jump as they go across the Melling Road. It's Garrison Savannah from Auntie Dot, Seagram, Durham Edition, over the road, and the weakening Golden Freeze, and over to Peter O'Sullivan.
Yes, it's Garrison Savannah trying to make turf history by becoming the first since 1934 to win the Gold Cup and the National in the same year. But he's being pressed all the time by Auntie Dot and Seagram, who's going strongly too. Then comes Durham Edition making a little bit of ground from the rear. Over the road is still in contention, but these five look to have it between them as they race down towards the second last. Garrison Savannah on the far side from Seagram on the near side. Garrison Savannah has a length advantage over Seagram. Two lengths, Auntie Dot jumps in third. Garrison Savannah looking as though he's got one fence now between himself and turf history. Garrison Savannah, written by Mark Pittman, the Gold Cup winner, comes to the final fence, three legs clear, jumps it well, Seagram jumps it second, Artie Dot third, but then the old man, Durham edition, and it's Garrison Savannah being chased all the time by Seagram, Garrison Savannah by four lengths as they come to the elbow from Seagram who hasn't given up, Garrison Savannah with Seagram putting in a tremendous and Bonanza Boy. Over the road and Bonanza Boy in a photo for fourth with Over the Road probably just getting it. But the result of the 1991 Grand National after a sensational run home by the winner is first number 11, Seagram owned by Sir Eric Parker trained by David Barons owned partly by David Barons as well and written first time ever in the National by Nigel Hawke, 25 years old. Second was number six, Garrison Savannah, who came so near to making turf history. Owned by Order 4 Engineering, trained by Mrs. Jenny Pittman and written by Mark Pittman. And third was number 18, Auntie Dot. Owned by Mrs. R. Wilson, trained by John Weber and written by Mark Dwyer and it's a photo for fourth place very close between over the road and bonanza boy but seagram has won a famous race after a sensational sprint home when the gold cup winner garrison savannah looked to have the race in his keeping just to the extent that Mark's father, Richard, looked sure to have it in safekeeping when he rode crisp before being run out of it by Little Red Rum, to whom he was conceding on that occasion about 30 pounds. But what a marvelous climax this for Nigel Hawke, Cornish-born young man who has ridden this horse so beautifully. 16th success in his 55 races, this New Zealand bred, who's so brilliantly vindicated the judgment of his trainer, David Barons, who has pioneered buying horses in New Zealand.